In this problem, uh, we want to find uh, the x-intercepts uh, of the following quadratic function, y equals f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2. Uh, so to find the x-intercepts of a quadratic function, uh, which you do the same way as finding the x-intercepts of any function, uh, what you want to do is uh, uh, find the uh, input that matches an output of 0. Uh, so in other words, you set the uh, output uh, in the function to zero and then find uh, the input that uh, matches uh, that output of zero. So if a function is expressed as a formula, like in this example, uh, we can find uh, the um, x-intercepts by uh, setting the output to zero and then uh, solving the resulting equation that we get. So that would be the equation 0 is equal to uh, uh, x squared minus 6x plus 2. And if I just uh, erase the function notation here, we just uh, get the equation without the function notation in it. And so we want to solve this equation. Now, since the equation, uh, since the function itself is a quadratic function, uh, then the resulting equation that we're going to hit, get here to solve is a quadratic equation. Uh, we have the unknown squared uh, in this equation, so that's, again, characteristic of uh, quadratic equations. And there are various techniques that we can use to solve quadratic equations, uh, but in this section we've been concentrating on using the quadratic formula, and um, so that's what I'm going to do again in this example. So let me scroll up a bit here. Here's the quadratic formula, of course. And remember, you can apply the quadratic formula to find the solutions of a quadratic equation just by recognizing the coefficients uh, in the equation. So the leading coefficient uh, a, which is the coefficient of the unknown uh, squared term that must uh, uh, be contained in the equation since it's a quadratic equation. The um, a coefficient of the uh, unknown to the first power term, that's usually labeled as b and then the constant uh, coefficient, which is usually labeled as c. So in this example, the leading coefficient is 1, uh, the b coefficient is minus 6, and the constant coefficient is 2. And by substituting those into the quadratic formula and simplifying, uh, we can find uh, the solutions uh, to this quadratic equation. Recall there may be uh, as many as two solutions uh, to um, a quadratic equation like this one. So um, let me apply the formula then just by substituting our coefficients into the formula. So we get the solutions to our quadratic equation, which would be the same as the x-intercepts of the original function f, um, are simply going to be minus b, so that's minus a minus 6, and then plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared, so that's minus 6 uh, squared, minus 4 times our leading coefficient 1, times the constant coefficient uh, 2 in this case. And then all of that divided by 2 times a, 2 times the leading coefficient, again, which in this case is 1. So the, here are the uh, uh, actually uh, the solutions to our quadratic equation, or we can think of this as here are the x-intercepts uh, to our uh, quadratic function, uh, the parabola uh, that's shown here. But of course, it um, be much easier to work with these two solutions if we simplified this expression somewhat. So let me go ahead and simplify this expression. Uh, sum. So minus and minus 6 is 6. Uh, plus or minus, remember that's how we get uh, the possibly two solutions to the equation uh, by first taking uh, the uh, 6 and adding it to this uh, uh, square root uh, or taking the 6 and then subtracting the square root from it. And let's see what uh, this square root is. So it's uh, minus 6 squared is 36. And then um, let's see what the second term here is. Let's be careful with the arithmetic now. So minus 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 2 is minus 8. So we end up with 30 centimeters minus 8 under the square root. And then, of course, 2 times 1 is uh, 2 in the denominator um, of the fraction. So we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 28 over 2. There are two solutions to our uh, quadratic equation. Or in other words, here are the two x-intercepts of this quadratic uh, function. One of them is 6 plus the square root of 28 over 2. And then the second is 6 minus the square root of 28 over 2.
Now, um, we can proceed uh, in a couple of ways from this point, but I'm actually going to stop at this point. But let me show you how you could continue uh, simplifying this expression. One way would be to uh, extract the square root of 28. Even though 28 is not a perfect square, uh, 36 is a perfect square, or 25 is a perfect square, but 28 is not a perfect square. But still, we can simplify square root of 28 uh, um, and then possibly reduce this fraction after we simplify the square root of 28. So that's one way we could continue, um, but we're going to demonstrate uh, that sort of simplification in a later example. Or we could use the calculator to estimate the square root of 28 uh, and then uh, uh, get uh, an estimate for uh, these two uh, uh, x-intercepts uh, of the original uh, function. Uh, but let me stop here in this example. So the two x-intercepts of this quadratic function um, are um, <clears throat> these two values. So the x-intercepts are um, 6 plus the square root of 28 over 2. That's one of them. And then the second one is 6 minus uh, the square root of 28 uh, over 2.